there's guys out there that will pass by in your life and there's those you know game changers that will stay forever these type of blackhead like nose packs have changed the game for me and is this texture beautiful this is a product that i always have to stock up on Ta -da! welcome back to my channel i am so happy to see you guys i've been wanting to film this video for the longest time because we're going to be talking about pores today hello everyone i'm your favorite on the union in the house today welcome back by unicorns and for those of you friends that are new to the channel welcome to the unicorn fam now today's videos is not gonna be aesthetic it's not gonna be like ooh, it's gonna be real it's gonna be raw it's gonna be dirty i'm gonna actually show you exactly the steps and the products that i use for my pore care so i'm gonna shush up and let's get started all right you guys so we are switching over to my bathroom to show you the very first step if you are looking for the easiest way and the most sure thing to really help with unclogging of your pores and tightening of your pores, you have to switch to this cleanser. This cleanser is so good. Now, this is not sponsored, but it can be, you know, hollow at your girl. Metapeel, this is something that my husband recommended first. Derek ran in and he's like, oh my gosh, babe, did you ever, like, did you get to try the Metapeel's cleanser? I was like, which one, the, the green one? And he's like, no, the red one. And I was like, why? He's like, oh my gosh, it's so good. Um, It smells beautiful and it's been amazing. And I was like, okay, 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 all right. I'm the, you know, skincare guru in the house. <laughs> no, Tarek is the bigger skincare guru, by the way. But anyways, I tried it and I just fell in love. And I feel like for the very first step, of unclogging your pores, it's really important to use a cleanser that can, and that is clinically proven to really help to remove sebum dead skin cells. So your skin just feels beautiful and baby soft. I'm just gonna shush up and show you. All right, you guys, and this is humongous. The size is so big, you can use it for your face and you can use it for your body as well. And it does smell beautiful, like Derek said. And you don't actually need a lot of water because it bubbles up really, really well. And the finish itself is definitely more on not the hydrating finish, but right smack in the between. It's not squeaky clean kind of finish, but it is hydrating, but it does feel like your skin has been kind of thoroughly cleansed. So you feel like your sebum and your excessive like unwanted gunk is really just cleansed thoroughly. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply all over and just melt that down. And a lot of people actually cleanse for a long period of time, but you don't really necessarily need to do that unless you had a really, let's like thick makeup or something like that for long hours. I do that sometimes when um, I've had hours of filming or things like that with makeup on like 20 hours or something like that. But you know, we could always double cleanse. So don't feel like you have to spend such a long period of time um, cleansing but please do spend this extra minute or like 30 seconds or so just on these areas that you want to really unclog oh, it smells so good and this is not only good for unclogging of your pores but it also has been clinically tested for the pore elasticity improvement so this is a good routine to add in every single day for both day and night routine Ooh, my skin just feels so refreshed and you're gonna absolutely love this recommendation all right let's move on to the next product all right guys so now that my skin is feeling so refreshed and i have that clean canvas here comes the main key product for our pore care okay first things first you guys a lot of people when they think about pore care i know that you guys absolutely love your clay masks this is something that i've been adding into my routine about two to three times a week and it just has made such a huge difference of unclogging your pores and preventing breakouts as well so i feel like i see less of blackheads sebaceous filaments forming and even whiteheads so i love this one it's 
beautiful. This is Mary and May's Rose Hyaluronic Hydra Wash Off Pack. And Mary and May, they do have a lot of uh, selection of different wash off masks as well. So you can actually test out different ones and try the ones you like. But this one is my favorite because not only does it help with the impurities and things like that, but it's also very hydrating and calming too. So now this is more of the third generation or second generation kind of clay masks. What I mean by that is, do you remember the first generation of clay masks? Do you remember how drying they were and how it took forever for you to spread it out across the face? This is like second generation, third generation. Look at this beautiful texture and everything just glides on. You can use products like this to kind of apply or like brushes or anything you have. But I find that with this clay mask, the easiest is your fingers. Everything just goes on so beautifully and easily. It just spreads out really nicely. And especially you guys, around the nose like curves and stuff like that it's much easier just to do it with your two little trusty fingers and i'm just gonna spread it out and isn't this texture beautiful it smells so good too it's not like an artificial type of scent but it's a very nice rosy type of scent that is not overpowering which i absolutely love you can just use it on specific areas that bother you uh, because of your pores or you can just use it on your whole face, which is beautiful and I'm gonna leave it uh, For about three to four minutes Sometimes after a minute or so you might feel the thin parts around the edges kind of tightening up A really good tip is to get some water and apply it just like on the sides or around the eyes area or wherever that kind of bothers you or You can just use any mist that you have at home And just mist yourself. This is a really good tip for especially for those of you that's like, I really want to leave it on for a longer time, but I really don't like that tight kind of feeling. So I love actually misting after a little bit when it starts to pull. And the chunks of like the purple things you see is actually the like actual rose. It has a lot of great quality rose ingredients for deep moisturizing effects. It has ceramide NP and it has pentanol and hyaluronic acid like within the name. So it has a lot of ingredients that's very moisturizing and calming at the same time. Like you can target many different concerns with one product, you know what I'm saying? So that's the best part. Now, Mary and May's Rose Hyaluronic Hydra Wash Off Pack is the best dupe for this Kodali mask that is so popular. Okay, so I actually was gifted of this one from uh, Lauren and I had never tried this before. So I was like, oh shoot, I like Kodali. I like their mist and some of their products. So I tried it and it was beautiful. So if you're a huge fan of the popular Kodali detox mask, this is like the perfect do for it. You're gonna absolutely love this. And the price point as well, this is much, much, much more affordable that you're gonna adore. And the amount as well, and the price, just everything, you're gonna get so much more for your buck. Okay, now we're gonna go wash it off. Let's do it. And with wash off masks, just to give you a little tip, if you just get like a little bit of toner pad and remove the pesky parts like that around the corners and stuff, everything gets off really quickly. Oof, and then I rinsed it one last time and ta-da! Look how brightened my skin looks and it just feels so nice. And also you can just kind of feel that it has sucked out the unwanted gunk nastiness out of your pores so you feel like you are ready for the next step all right let's be honest by this time you feel like your pores are gonna be perfect and good to go but the fact is after you've used a clay mask or like a wash off mask for your um whole pores your skin feels 
fabulous. But oftentimes, if you're like me, your sebaceous filaments actually is more visible. It's like ready for it to be unclogged. Do you know what I'm saying? So this is actually the perfect time for you to use an extra step to melt it down. And this is that extra step that is going to be the key ingredient, especially for sebaceous filaments. If you're like me, these type of blackhead like nose packs have changed the game for me. Now, Mary and May's Daily Safe Blackhead Clear Nose Mask, that's a mouthful, but this actually comes in tens. So you will see step one and step two like this, and you can actually divided and I absolutely love this product. This is a product that I always have to stock up on and I know that this will work for my sebaceous filaments. This is going to be a game changer for those of you that feel like sebaceous filaments is a huge concern of your skin and that you see pretty much like pretty often, you know? So please do try this product you guys and it is so easy to use let me show you the very first step this is a safe blackhead clear mask and this is the first step and you just open it up and then you get the mask that is shaped in this perfect nose pack kind of shape and then you apply it and in korea we say pack as the mask Mask is peck, so we say mask peck, kind of like that. But I know that in uh, English, we don't really use pack, but pack equals mask. So keep that in mind. Leave it on like this. And they do have small slits like this, so it could suit different shapes of the nose. So yes, you leave that alone. And the best part about the Mary and Mays one is that it has so much juice in here. What I love to do is I want to take care of this area. You know you see sebaceous filaments over there. So you can actually use any type of cotton pad um, you have at home. I'm using the Kainé one because this has more of a sponge type of material, which literally just means that it's like a sponge. So it eats the product and then it spits it back out. So it's perfect to use for DIY sheet masking. But you could use anything, like the Japanese one is so amazing as well. So we're gonna soak in the goodness like this. And it's like fully drenched. So th they are very generous with their product. So I use the extra cotton that is fully soaked in the juice. This is such an amazing, amazing thing. I love it. This is the best way because you're not physically irritating your pores, that area. What we're doing is we're gently melting it down, which is the best thing you can do because the number one of the causes of pore enlargement is because of physical irritation. So, you know, sometimes like the nose strips, it really gets the job done. You know what I'm saying? It is satisfying. I have to let y'all know, you know? Uh, and sometimes you have like hairs on your nose, so it does kind of get rid of that. So which you feel so like uh, satisfied afterwards. But nose strips aren't really good to use like every time because it is physically irritating your pores and that will lead to pore enlargement. So if you are thinking of a great way to take care of blackheads, sebaceous filaments, and even your pores like prevent breakouts, especially around this area that you break up the most, I feel like this is the product to add in. And isn't this so easy? And if you actually don't like these other areas being naked per se, <laughs> I like saying that, you know, it's naked for about uh, 10 to 15 minutes that they do recommend, then actually uh, you can use a toner pad. So I'm actually gonna use a toner pad because I feel like my skin's getting really dry. I love this. This is a Bleed View Collagen Bouncing Serum Pad. And this will be in our uni sue box. So stay tuned in, you guys. But the best part is that you can actually split it into two. And it's just kind of easy to shape. So I could just shape it any way I want. This serum pad has so much like well-aging benefits. It has like 17 you know, peptides, like it has 12 amino acids, it has collagen, just a lot of good ingredients that I don't actually want to use it just as toner pad to wipe away, but this serum pad, you want to actually use it like as a DIY sheet mask. I think that's where you're going to get the full benefit. And it just works perfectly when I'm using the Mary and May's like blackhead clear nose mask. 
I use this about once a week. I think that's all you need. But sometimes during the summer, I do use it about twice a week. And it's always nice to give this kind of extra care like with everything. So let on you be and I'll see you guys uh, in a few minutes. Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna take off the serum pads first. With the other brand's products, like the thing was that after this step, I needed my Q-tip and I could really see like the sebaceous filaments coming out, which was really satisfying. But this one, it melts down everything that I don't even have to do a lot of the physical removing of the sebaceous filaments. So let me just show you. Now, your sebaceous filaments already have a bit melted down so well, so you don't have to do much of the next step. But the package actually comes with Q-tips. And I was really surprised because usually the ones before, they've upgraded. Um, now you can have the ones like that's individually packaged like this. Before it was like in a bulk. So I love that, it's more sanitary. Thank you, Mary and May, I love this upgrade. Um, so you get the Q-tip and all you have to do is remove the sebaceous filaments or leftover because everything else is already melted. The first step has such amazing ingredients of witch hazel extracts and just all of the goodness to really melt everything down for you. So it does everything for you. Um, and my little tip is to use a bit of a circular motion. Don't like swipe it like this. Like don't, don't do that. You don't want to add physical irritation. You want to do it really softly and just swipe, roll, roll like that on the pesky areas, on the side, your butterfly zone right here. Just be really gentle because already the mask has done the job for you and it has melted down everything. Go for it on the areas that really bug you. You juicy a little bit of the sebaceous filaments. Oh yes. Oh yeah. All right, so let's move on to step two. The best part about this mask is that it has a step two to help to calm this area down for you. Now, this is the Soothing Pore Tightening Mask Step 2. And this as well is very generous. It has a lot of the juice inside. So you can use the mask, apply it right on top. And this contains Sika, Tea Tree, Hutuania Cordata. And these are amazing ingredients to really calm that area down and for tightening of the pores. And step two as well, there's so much of the juice left. I always use a cotton pad. Like always, go in there, get the juice and apply it onto the areas. You can apply it to your whole face or like areas that you want to kind of remove the sebaceous filaments at. Apply it to that area that you wanna care for. And I'm just gonna let that be for about five to 10 minutes or whenever you feel like it's already soaked in, then you can take it off. All right, you guys. So we are going to finish off with a serum and a cream. Now, because we did a full on routine for your sebaceous filaments, blackheads, your pore care, you can actually end here. Maybe just finish off the cream if you feel like you're dry, but I do want to recommend one ingredient to add into your routine, maybe daily or maybe two to three times a week uh, to take care of your pores, and it is BHA. Adding BHA into your routine in the long run is really good for pore care and sebaceous filaments. So you will actually need to do the routine that we did today a little bit less because less of sebaceous filaments will form, like less frequently as well, so if that makes sense. So I am going to show you the serum that I'm going to be using today. This is the Medicube Zero Pore One Day Serum. I've talked about this many times on my channel. It has this kind of snot, watery snot-like texture that actually feels very light, but is viscous. I like using this actually onto the specific areas that I took care for my pores. Sometimes I do it all over my face, um, but I don't feel like doing it in this area today. So I'm just gonna use it around the pore area. 
Yes, this is a really good product. It has 2% niacinamide, so I feel like it also helps with acne scars as well. But it does contain 15.2% of AHA, BHA, and PHA. And that may sound a little bit scary, especially if you're hashtag team sensitive right here. So I don't use it for my skin every single day. I use it about two to three times a week or a little bit more often for a night routine. Like when I feel like I need to really care for my pores and stuff like that. But I feel like adding it in like one to two times, two to three times is just enough when I really want to focus on my pores. And there's one more product that I want to show you. This is something that I add into my routine every single day for day and night, and it's still fine. There's not large amounts of the um, exfoliating ingredients, so I feel like it's a little bit more gentler. I love this one. You guys, I've talked about it multiple times on my channel. This is the Medicube Zero Port One Day Cream, and it does contain 0.1% of BHA, and it contains pentanol. And I love, love this cream, especially for when I'm breaking out and when I really want to just kind of care for my pores. And when my skin is just acting up, I feel like this is one of the products that I add back into my routine. The only con is that um, after the upgrade, it's great. Like the upgrade's much better. The texture is more beautiful. I love the formula, but it does have a strong scent. Not necessarily that the scent is bad. I like it, but it does feel a little bit strong compared to other products that I use. So that's the only con for me, but I love the formula. As you've seen the texture right now, it's more of a gel type of moisturizer, but that's not too light. So I feel like for my combination skin, I can use it um, for day and night routine. Maybe not for like extremely dry skin types, but up to combination skin, you can definitely use it as a moisturizer into your routine. And I actually love finishing off my pore care routine with this cream. I feel like it just kind of is the cherry on top to lock in all the moisture, but have all the benefits to finish off to really target my pore care as well. Okay, you guys, so that was my realistic raw routine that I really use, the specific products that I really use for my pore care. And I feel like if you are really looking in the long term to improve your sebaceous filaments and blackheads, but in a very gentle way, please do try this routine. I feel like it will make a huge difference, especially the cleanser because it's just so easy to switch off. Usually the category that people switch off or like try or they're more adventurous with is cleansers. So I do wanna highly recommend that you do try this cleanser. Just overall, it is a really good cleanser and especially for pore care, it's amazing. And the key ingredient in this routine is this product right here, you guys. I'm telling y'all, it's a life like changing. It's like game changing. Like, you know, there's guys out there that will pass by in your life and there's those, you know, game changers that will stay forever. So for this, I feel like there's nothing that can actually beat this. And I just love it and I can highly recommend it for you. I will leave all the links and discount codes if I do have any. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Hope that this was helpful, okay? And I know that poor care can be so, so, so difficult and it can be challenging, but I will make sure to share more videos that's more realistic and that can really help to target your skin concerns. So thank you guys, I love you. Don't forget to like, please like, subscribe, comment. It really makes a difference for me. So thank you, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, Annyeong. bye.